Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am writing this. This is the Nibav Series 2 Home Elevator and trust me, it is a work of art with a lot of tech going in for it because you can see it is actually freestanding. Yes, that's right. It is not supported by a wall. You don't have to dig a pit and you don't even have to screw it because it's a self-supporting structure. And this elevator has many USBs. For starters, the construction is absolutely amazing because this is actually reinforced steel and galvanized aluminum material which is corrosion free. It is aircraft grade. But you know what is the most fun part of it? This glass is 250 times stronger than a regular glass because this happens to be polycarbonate. Okay, it is unbreakable and you won't believe it is also bulletproof. Check this out, okay? I can punch the fluff out of it and Oh my god, my hands have gone for a toss, but nothing happens to it because it is so strongly built. So, this is ground plus one configuration and you can get up to ground plus three configurations. And there's a lot to talk about because this is the air sealant, okay? This is where it actually maintains the vacuum pressure. This is the mediator box to actually alter the height of this elevator depending on the floor height. So basically, this cabin is actually 6.3 feet in terms of height and then depending on the height of the floor, you have this mediator box whose height can be varied. There are three different types of motors which are available. So this is actually the integrated motor which is usually placed right on top of this. Yeah, right on top. And the below one happens to be a soundproof motor which doesn't make any sound whatsoever of the motor if you want absolute silence with your elevator, you can get that as well. This particular one is actually running on a split unit wherein you don't have that height. So basically you can see those two pipes which are going inside. So you can keep it separately, the motor, just like in a split air conditioning system. Now this one has got five motors and each motor can support the weight of almost 40 kg, somewhere around that, which means with five motors, do the mathematics, what are you looking at my face? 40 into five, 200 kg, so yes, this can actually take a load of 210 kgs, two persons it says, but if you hit the gym as frequently as me, then you can even take a kid along. Now, it doesn't occupy much space, only one meter uh, in diameter that is, which means that for places like Mumbai where honestly space is such a freaking constraint, this is of great use. Okay, now it also gets Alexa compatibility, which means that you can actually even name your elevator and then you can just say, you know, first floor, second floor and just call the lift. That's so amazing. Anyways, so construction quality is just impeccable. It's really very nice. Installation is also easy. It takes just 24 hours to install it and then there's no screwing, no digging, none of that. Usually in an elevator, all that happens. And you know what it is powered by? It is powered by air. Yeah, it doesn't need any hydraulics, cables or anything of that sort. It's amazing. Okay, now the thing is, how does it power itself up? Okay, very simple. It is like a home appliance. That's right. It is actually a home appliance because it does not need extra power as such. In fact, you can run it on single phase power supply. How cool is that? And then obviously because it has glass all around, it has a 360 degree panoramic view. Amazing. So this is the button to actually call the elevator. Okay, here are some buttons. Now this is the emergency button. You press this for three seconds and the elevator will come back down to the ground floor. It is so efficient, it does not take much power while ascending, but for descent, it doesn't take any power whatsoever, so it's a green elevator. So now, just notice, as soon as I open the door, there the light actually turns on. So there's a light, LED light, and there's a fan here, okay? There's an auxiliary battery which is needed to, you know, support this system, of course. And here on the inside, there is carpeting, quite nice, and the emergency button is here as well. You press it for three seconds and then, you know, you can bring the elevator back down. Now there's a phone here, which is a GSM phone. You have to put a SIM card and then you can make calls as well. Okay, these are the buttons. This one is a G plus one and then obviously you can opt for G plus two, G plus three. Overload light will come here. Okay, now see the light automatically turned off because it realized that no action has happened. So I'm going to turn on the light. This is the alarm button. So, yeah, you press this button. Yeah, you can hear the alarm, okay. <laughs> Actually, the fan is making some sound right now. And this button is the child lock button. So when I press this button, I feel like turned it off. The lift will not move at all. So let's do one thing. Let's get to the first floor here. I'm actually <laughs> going upwards. Now the speed is actually when I convert it into kilometers per hour, I think 0.54 kilometers per hour. They obviously tell you in meters per second, which we'll discuss in a bit. And here we are on the top. Now, obviously, since there's no floor on the top, 
we are automatically going to descend but this uh, elevator also has this function of automatically descending in case of power failure so it will automatically come to the ground floor and you can customize which floor you want it to, to come down to so that's also really nice yeah <laughs> It's actually a very smooth ride right here and there we are almost reaching down. You know what, if I press this, it will not open because it has all this facility which ensures that whoever is going in this elevator is extremely safe and then you can see a nice 360 degree view of what's around you. So let's just get out which is easy, just push it and there it's done and then I just leave it. Doesn't exactly have soft closed door function but you get the gist. So. It comes in 10 colors. You have got silver, gold, gray, cream, white, red, green, blue, brown, black. Yes, I know I can read colors. But how does the traditional elevator actually work? Well, there's a pump which pushes oil into a hydraulic cylinder which has a piston inside. This pressure placed on the piston is what lifts the elevator car up. Now, when the pressure is released by a downward descent, the oil is pushed out of the piston. This Nibav home elevator does not have any cables, shafts or hydraulics because it is powered by air resulting in very low maintenance. In fact, it doesn't even have any oil lubricants or counterweights. There is no auxiliary backup motor either because it is powered by air and it automatically descends to a lower floor in case of a power outage. Meanwhile, traditional elevators need that auxiliary motor to get back to a lower floor so that the elevator can be opened and people can get out of the elevator. In fact, it comes with lifetime warranty for the motor as well as the air sealant. Do you know that before 2018, this used to come to India as a completely imported model, but now it is being made in India. Yes, it is manufactured in India and it has been patented here as well. The Nibab home elevator range starts from rupees 8.99 lakhs and assembly takes just 24 hours because it comes in semi-assembled format. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this vlog, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That's a like button and also leave a comment of what you think about these unique videos which I'm making these days. Bye-bye.